Hi friends, welcome to Art with Soto. Today we're going to work on some experiment circles using different types of drawing tools and different kinds of paper. So the first thing you have to do is gather as many different types of paper as you have around the house. Here I have a piece of brown paper bag, a piece of newspaper, um, a piece of cereal box, and the used coffee filter that I saved. And you're gonna gather as many drawing tools as you have. I have some color pencils, some crayons, some markers, and some Sharpies. Now, if you only have one or two of these things, that's totally fine. Even if Also, if you have other drawing tools like oil pastels or anything else, take them out and use them. Now, I know some of us don't have paper available, so the great part about this project is that we can use any type of paper we find around our place. And this week we also celebrate Earth Day. What is good about this is that we can use all this stuff that we would be throwing into the recycle bin to make our art. I'm gonna work on all these, but I'm gonna start with my newspaper. I am very excited to use newspaper because I have a, news, a lot of newspaper around the house. And I also like the fact that the letters in the background give it a little bit of texture. All right, let's get started. I'm going to trace a circle on my newspaper and you can use any drawing tool that you want. I'm gonna use a Sharpie to trace my circle. I know the Sharpie works well on almost every surface, so I know it's gonna trace a good circle. Now, I am tracing circles because I don't want to worry about um, trying to color everything in. I want my surface to be small and that way I can do more circles with different types of paper. Now choose what drawing tool you want to start with. And divide the circle with different lines, using different lines. I'm going to start with color pencils. So you can divide the circle using curvy lines. Maybe you want to use straight lines. Maybe you want to use zigzag lines. And notice which ones work best. This one didn't look, I can't see this one very well, see? But I can see these two. So we're paying attention to what works and what doesn't work. Now we can try adding some shapes. I'm gonna add some half circle here, maybe a triangle up here. Maybe another line right here. Divide the space. Okay, now let's try adding some patterns. Now I'm gonna use some crayons. I'm gonna switch to crayons. For patterns, I'm gonna use some polka dots here. I have to hold the newspaper, otherwise it wrinkles. And maybe here I wanna do some lines. Different color. Here maybe I want to do some spiral line and here maybe I don't know what should I do maybe little dots I'm gonna try using my white crayon too my white crayon I'm gonna do concentric circles I know you can't see them right now but maybe we will later I'm gonna add some last green here Maybe I'll color this. Now I'm going to use some markers, regular markers. Okay, I like this area and I'm gonna work in the areas and the shapes that were made by those lines. And I'm going to notice what works and what doesn't. This one seems to work, markers, seem to go really nicely. Now I'm going to overlap some marker on the color pencil. Uh, look. Look at that. I can see the crayon underneath that as well. See, we're discovering what goes well. I wonder what happens if I use a Sharpie. Hmm, I can still see the crayon underneath. That's great. How about a dark color? And 
there is that white crayon that I put earlier. See it? Those circles, the concentric circles, one circle and in, in, inside of another one. I can take a little piece of paper towel and wipe it off like that. And you can see that the white crayon is still there. So the markers can cover the crayon. That's something that I'm learning right now. What else? I think I've used all of my tools. So now I'm just going to finish filling in my other areas. I wonder if something can be used on top of my Sharpies. I know that I can't use anything on top of the crayon, but what about on top of the Sharpies? A little bit, not very much. Let's see this one. Ooh, look at that. I can use a color pencil on top of the Sharpies. And depending on the color, even on top of the markers, but not on top of the crayons. Nothing seems to work on top of the crayons. So I'm gonna make some more lines. What happens if we mix colors? Look at that, some of the colors are mixing. So the goal is to experiment, is to see what happens with these different materials when we overlap them, seeing which ones work well together, which ones don't work well together. It looks like I can use black marker as well. And there you go. There's my experiment. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one and these two other pieces of paper, right? I'm gonna trace my circle with my can and go through the process again. Try to do at least three or four, okay? Even if you only have markers or crayons, see how they work on the different types of paper. I was very excited making our experimental circles and I learned a lot. I made this one with just markers and crayons on white paper. I made this one with just a pencil on a coffee filter. I made this one on a magazine that didn't really work. Nothing really stuck to it except Sharpies, but I learned something. And then I made all this one with oil pastels and color pencils and some on cereal boxes. And I got a lot of different results. I hope you enjoy this project and that you experiment a lot. Don't forget to save these. Don't throw them away because we could use them for collage.